She, my character, Rain, is a uh, world killer. She was bioengineered in the lab. She comes from Krypton, just like Kara and Clark. Uh, but when you meet her, you see that her story is much different than any of the villains that we've seen on Supergirl seasons one and two. She has a very specific agenda, and uh, her story is very powerful, very scary, and quite heartbreaking. And you'll get to see that on her own is Rain like trying to go into Earth's world? Or does she have like a double life or is she just Rain? <laughs> I wish I knew the answer to that because that would help so much. Uh, I don't I don't know how to answer that because I don't I actually don't know. But what I will say is that she's not she doesn't come to Earth to go on a killing spree. That's not that's not what she's set out to do. She has a very specific reason why she dispenses her justice. What kind of learning curve did it take for you to get into a superhero show? Were you ready to do something like this, or did you have to kind of wrap your head around what this kind of show means? I definitely had to wrap my head around what this kind of show means, because, I, you know, I, the fans are incredibly dedicated, and I don't want to come in and excuse my language, but fuck it up. <laughs> you know, I, I, I worked really hard on this role, and, and auditioning was so awesome, and I'm really a fan of the show, and and I just, I, I you know, I, I want to get this right, and it's and it's such an amazing character, and such a great arc that she gets to show, and I think the fans will be really pleased in the end. Can you tease any scenes that we're going to have about particular characters that we know, or is she going to be dealing with some new characters? I have no idea. I'm going to say she's going to she's going to get into everybody's world, but that's a lie, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much research did you do um, preparing for this role? Did you go all deep into all deep into the comic book world, or did you just watch the Supergirl properties? What what did you do? You know, this character is relatively new. She's in the New 52 comics, and we don't know much about her. So, um, in in terms of research for Rain. I, I know the surface and and what Andrew Kreisberg and Greg Rolanti want to do with this character is take nods from the character in the comic book, but also make Rain her own and do do a different adaptation. And I think that they're very good at doing that in their own shows. So I think that you know my costume is not going to look like the one that you see in the comic books. <laughs> she will look much different than, than than what you see in the comics. Is that a relief or is that like oh for I me <laughs> absolutely because that means that I don't have to be in hours and hours and hours of makeup. <laughs> Not saying that I won't be in some capacity but yes. <laughs> I'm happy about it. <laughs> How has it been for you playing a villain on the show? Have you played any villains before in your career? Is this something like that was new and exciting for you, or have you? I um I worked on a show called Banshee, and I I wouldn't necessarily I I wouldn't necessarily say that I was a villain, but I certainly had my own motives and reasons for um, playing Nola and being a badass. So I I've had some fight training, and I you know and and that's really fun for me. To do. I, I enjoyed it so much. So to do that again in a different way, in a different character, I'm very excited about it. It also will get me into shape, so... <laughs> <laughs>